Welcome to an, another ATN tutorial. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be going over the ballistics calculator. So the X8 4K uh, is a fully has a fully integrated ballistics calculator that enables your scope to seamlessly adjust its point of impact. The first step in utilizing this function requires you to enter all the relevant information in the profile uh, that is being used. So please note that this feature um, must be activated with advanced mode settings. So if you click the OK button on the scope, the center button, and we're going to get to this menu. And we're going to click uh, left until you get to advanced shortcuts. You see how the line is crossed off here? So you would click OK to turn on advanced settings. OK, so that's the first step. And then we're going to go over to the system settings and I adjust the the profile. So you're going to want to go ahead and click OK uh, on the system settings icon. And then we're going to go over to profiles and zero. And here I'm going to choose uh, other. I have two profiles here. The first one is not actually set up. So this is the one that we're going to choose and, and set it up basically. We're going to click load and then back and well that was too much back let's go back into the <laughs> profiles in zero okay so here I have the current profile and we're going to put in the ballistics data uh, please also note that if you do not know all the part all or part of the info uh, for example like initial velocity uh, we recommend that you contact the manufacturer of the ammunition or the weapon that you're using generally this should be found on the manufacturer's website so today I'm going to be using a um, 308 Winchester uh, 178 grain so I'm going to go ahead and fill in the ballistics data for that the drag function is G1 so we're going to leave that at that and then ballistic coefficient uh, for me, it's going to be 0.552. So you can use kind of the arrows left and right to navigate, or and then up and down as well, power or the function button. Or you can also use the scroll wheel, which is a little bit easier. So 5, 5, 2. And then press OK to save. And then bullet weight, mine is 178 green. So muzzle velocity, it's going to be 2600. So just bear with me a little bit. I'll set zeros. Okay, muzzle velocity done. Uh, the range is about 100 yards as well, but we're going to also leave that. <coughs> Sight height is, is, is 2 inches on mine. Let's see, 2 inches, zero, zero. Enter. Okay, so the profile is set up. Once your profile is set up, uh, and you're ready to activate the ballistic calculator on your, on your site. So we're going to exit from here, and go back into the menu carousel. And to activate your ballistics calculator in the shortcut carousel, we're going to scroll over to the ballistics calculator. So if it has that kind of slash line across it, that means it's turned off. And click OK to turn it on. And you see in the top right corner, you, that same symbol came up. That means your ballistic calculator is on at the moment. OK. So that's pretty much it, turning it on. Next, we're going to go over to the environment. And I'll show you how to set up the environment. All right, so uh, now we're going to scroll over to the environment icon. 
and this would be it. So we'll click enter. And here, uh, basically, the, uh, there are a number of environmental elements that may be entered uh, to increase the precision of your shots. So uh, wind strength and direction are by far the most important of the group, especially during medium to heavy winds. Uh, if you plan on shooting at ranges over 300 yards. So uh, relative humidity, we'll leave it at 75. Uh, wind speed, I will set it to, mm, let's say, 19 miles per hour, even though I'm indoors. But this is just for test purposes to show you how the reticle uh, jumps with the LISC calculator. OK. Enter. And wind direction, we can also change, but I'll leave it to south uh, to have a bit of a crosswind. And then that's it for environment. Uh, there are uh, other uh, environmental factors like uh, temperature, barometer, pressure, and altitude, but those are going to be, uh, that data will be taken from your scope automatically. Okay, so the number one priority to achieve accuracy and long range shooting is to know the range of your target. The ballistic calculator will make adjustments for you, but only after you have entered the distance to your target. Your site offers several ways to accomplish this. The first one would be to manually um, adjust the distance. I'll show you that now. Well, you can press the OK button, and in the menu, we're going to go over to distance entry. So press OK. Here at the moment, it's about 19 uh, yards to the wall, but I'm gonna just I'm gonna bump up the range to about maybe like 300 to show you how the point of impact actually changes. If you do know the the height of your target, you can preset it and uh, measure it with the internal range finder, or you can use the handheld laser range finder or the able laser range finder. I'll be using the handheld laser range finder to adjust the point of impact and to measure the distance. So I'm going to leave it to about 321, should be enough. And um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to connect the laser range finder. Just let me turn it on and it'll connect automatically. And I'll show you how to measure the distance and show you the, the crosshair change to the point of impact. Okay, the laser rangefinder is paired and connected to the Bluetooth. And in three, two, one, there you go. You saw the crosshair change a little bit. It adjusted to the distance and the, the, the windage, basically. So after ranging, uh, your ballistic calculator will automatically um, move the reticle and show you how much it was moved from the original zero. So in this case, if you look on the bottom left left side, you'll see uh, arrow pointing up that it moved 1.24 inches up and uh, 0.06 inches to the left from your original zero. So that's it. That's how uh, you set up your ballistics calculator and this is how you use it. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.